We'll, do, we'll be doing two problems on functions to understand what we have just studied in the previous video. We have to check whether the function from n to n given by fx is equal to 5x is 1 to 1 on two or bijective. Now here the function n to n means what we have studied previously, function from a set A to a set B where uh, set A is the set of natural numbers and B is also the set of natural numbers. So the domain is a set of natural numbers and set B or the co-domain is also a set of natural numbers. Now, if we take different natural numbers from set A and we put it inside over there, five times that we'll be getting it inside set B. So if we put one over here, we will get five. If we put two, we will get 10, three will give us 15, four will give us 20, so on and so forth. Now by looking at the mapping, it is very clear that every element in set A will give us a unique element in set B. So one gives five, two gives 10. It doesn't look like a many to one kind of mapping. But what is the working rule? The working rule is very different. We have to take two elements from set A. So let x1 and x2 belong to set A. We assume it is not one to one. So we assume it is many to one. So therefore, fx1, that is the value that we will get when we put x inside this, fx1 will be equal to fx2, where fx2 is the value we will get when we put the value of x2 inside the function. Now understand that both fx1 and fx2 belong to this particular set, that is the codomain. So if we were to assume that it is not one to one, it is many to one, so therefore our assumption is that fx1 is equal to fx2. Now we put the value here, we get 5x1 is equal to 5x2, x1 is equal to x2, and so x1 and x2 are same. So therefore, you see these two elements that we have taken from the set A are basically the same. So our assumption is, is not correct. So therefore, it is clear from here that it is a one-to-one -one function. Now our second requirement is to check whether it is an onto function. Now if it is an onto function, then every element of the codomain B should be used. But is it used? What value will give us digit or natural number one, natural number two, natural number three? Nothing. So therefore, we would be having many, many numbers inside the codomain which are not used up, which do not have a pre-image in set date. So therefore, it is not a non-to function. And since it is not a non-to function, it is not a bijective either, because for a bijective, you would be requiring both these two to be valid. Let's take a look at another problem here. We have to test for a bijective function. Now the function is from end to end, like over here, it is from, from one from, from a set consisting of natural numbers to the other which is consisting again of natural numbers. And it is defined by fx is equal to x plus 1 if x is odd and x minus 1 if x is even. Now to test for 1 to 1, we will take two elements from the domain. That domain would mean the set A over here. Such that x1 and x2 are such that we have them equal. fx1 is equal to fx2. Now in the first case, if x1 and x2 are odd, in the first case if x1 and x2 are odd, then fx1 is equal to x1 plus 1 and fx2 is equal to x2 plus 2. And if they are equal, we will see by mathematically solving that x1 is equal to x2. So it is 1 to 1. Case 2, if x1 and x2 are even, now we must remember that we have two different kinds of functions depending upon x being odd or x being even. In the second case, if x1 and x2 are even, then fx1 is equal to x1 minus 1 and x2 is equal to minus 2. By taking them equal, because that's what we are assuming, 
we will see that x1 is equal to x2. Therefore, it is again a one-to-one -one function. This is the working rule that you must learn to prove that it is one-to-one. -one. Now, to test for on2, take every number, every natural number inside the set B. You can trace back and see that you will be having a pre-image in set A. Or for that matter, you could also try it reverse. You take the set of natural numbers, take a few, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If it is 1, and since it's an odd, we will get 2 because x plus 1. Fx is if when it is odd, you put it inside here and you use this one. So 1 will give you 1 plus 2. When you put 2 inside it, you have to use the second one. So 2 minus 1 will give you 1, 3 will give you 4, 4 will give you 3, and you will see that every element inside the set B will have a pre-image in the set A. This is, this is an example, an illustration to show very clearly that every element inside set B will give you an element in set A. So therefore, both 1 to 1 and on to is true in this function. It is a 1 to 1 function and it is a non 2 function. Therefore, it is a bijective function.